This map first impressions video is brought to you by the Farmer Klein YouTube channel. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Hello everybody and welcome back to another map first impressions video. Today we're going to take a look at Farming Legend. So Farming Legend was the base map in Farm Sim 11 and has quite a following apparently because it has been brought forward by enthusiasts every farm sim since then it was available in the mod hub for farm sim 17 and it is available in farm sim 19 so you can download this mod over at the farming simulator.com mod hub or in the in-game mod hub and this map is currently available for pc players only so let me read a little bit of the description it says at the beginning in new farmer you will have two farms a breeding with parks and buildings and a culture farm with equipment and buildings uh, there are 28 arable fields with 24 purch purchasable uh, parcels of land of which two offered so i believe it means that you start out with two and this map is equipped with multi-terrain angle so let's just go ahead and jump on in and take a look around pull up the log And there we go. See, the map loads up very quickly. And let's go ahead and take a look at the map itself. So you may find this map very familiar. Um, I was first introduced to this road layout via a different map in Farm Sim 17 called Churn Farms, which I later learned was an edit of Farming Legend in uh, Farm Sim I believe it was 13 or 15, and it was brought forward by CCS 101 over at FSUK in Farm Sim 17, because uh, this has a very distinct road layout. And I learned that that was based on Farming Legend. So here we are. See, we have our standard crops here on the map. And if we take a look at the lands section, see we start out by owning, well, we own a fair chunk. Now, this whole section here that is in blue, that really doesn't count. That is kind of like the exterior of the map. I don't really know why uh, this wasn't assigned a non-buyable channel. The way I understand it is all of these buyable areas are defined in a layer by a channel ID. And I understand that one of the channel IDs is basically unpurchasable lands. Uh, so I don't know why this was set up like this, but at any rate, uh, the sad thing is, if you want to sell this, well, now you have $11 million. Okay? So, it's kind of a cheat to get a whole ton of cash really quickly. I mean, look there, we've got $11 million right now. I did start this up on new farmer mode. So, I would like to see maybe this map get versioned uh, so that this whole big section was just non-purchasable. And then we also have some animal areas up here to the north and then we've got a sheep area down here to the south so let's see here field 22 is the biggest field on the map it is nine hundred and ten thousand dollars to buy that parcel then we've got small areas like six and seven are only eighty six thousand dollars to purchase that parcel let's go ahead and take a look at our starting fleet we start out with three tractors the Fent 511C, John Deere 6135M, We've got a pair of those. So our tractors range in horsepower from 115 to 142 horsepower. We've got the TX32 Harvester with grain header. We've got a pair of tippers, the Joskin Transpace 8000 and the FarmTech TDK 1600. We've got the Rowell Cultivator. Amazon Cedar, and then we've got all of the animal areas, cow pasture, pig enclosure, sheep pasture, horse paddock, and a large chicken coop. Also have the doghouse and two silos. Got a hayloft, large double bunker, and a single bunker. And then a fleet of buildings, water stations, and whatnot. We actually have two farmhouses here on the map. See right here, if we go into this farmhouse, we do have the sleep trigger. 
And the farmhouse up here to the north also will give us a sleep trigger. We'll check that out when we get up there. So for now, let's go ahead and just kind of tour around, <laughs> around the uh, starting point here. The first thing that I noticed when uh, when I came here on the map is this building here, which was in the Farm Sim 17 version. And as I understand it, this was a building that was in Farm Sim 11. Really wish they would carry carried stuff like this forward, uh, at least with giants. Got like an elevator here. And in theory, I mean, it's probably not animated, but if you just, this is the barn. This is your hay straw and grass sell point. You just tip in here and then you would sell. But it'd be so cool to see this animated up and, uh, and going into, uh, into there. That would be so neat. Really want someone to do up a cool bale elevator. Uh, there was a mod for one in 17 that looked very much like this. Just a bit, uh, a bit higher quality model going on. Over here we've got our grain silo. We've got the tip in. And interesting enough and inter um, quite, quite sneakily done, there is the silo output. It's, it's just a standard farm sim silo, but it's just been stuck into there. These have grain icons on them, but these are non-functional, hence the, the pallet here prohibiting you from, from driving through. Apparently in Farm Sim 11, you had a silo for every individual crop. So this one only took corn. Then we had wheat and barley, and I guess that was canola. That's how that worked. Let's go ahead and run on over here. We've got our pig area. Of course, it's the standard Farm Sim 19 pig area. So really nothing to... Uh, to expand on our explore there. If you do start this map in farm manager mode or new farmer mode, uh, some of these buildings will be here. The hayloft will be here, of course, or that's the barn. Uh, this building over here, which is just purely decorative, it will stay. But all of the placed items associated that you can sell will not be here. So if you do start on farm manager mode, you'll start with no land. No equipment, no placeables, and, uh, and just some money. Make our way around here. We've got Farm Tech, John Deere, big equipment shed, and that's pretty much the farm. Got a fuel station on the side here. And interesting enough, way over here, we have a fuel tank also. So there's lots of spots around the main farm here to get fuel. So with that, let's go ahead and get our Mahindra. I'm going to tab through real quick. There we go. Zoom on out. Look around. So overall the map is farmland aspect of the map is fairly flat I believe We've got large mountainous areas um, in the middle of the map so you can see all of the rocky areas what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go head across this way across the bridge here and make our way over to the northern secondary farm just where we're going to find our horses and our cows. Is right here, going up this lane. So there's the hayloft. That was in our inventory. Got our harvester here. And here is the second farmhouse I made mention of. See, we have the sleep trigger in this one also. Go 
Got the standard farm sim cow area. Got a small bunker here. See, we've got the horse paddock over to our left. And directly in front of us, we've got the second small silo. That pretty much is the, uh, the secondary farm up here to the north. Of course, we have fields over here. Fields 27 and 28. Run over this way. You'll see we have small, small fields five, six, and seven over here. Another large storage building. So what we're going to do is go ahead and get back in the Mahindra and continue on. I think what we'll do is maybe go in a clockwise direction around the map just a few cell points in fact let's go ahead and look at that I think we kind of skipped that aspect so if you take a look at the prices screen you see we have two main cell points for most of our crop we have three cell points for eggs we do have a cell point for wool and cotton and three cell points for milk Salt mill will accept our wood chips. And of course, we have the hay straw and grass area at the barn at the main farm. There is a BGA on the map. It is You know what? I thought there was. Oh, there it is. There is a BGA down here on the map. And uh, to purchase that, you need $569,000. I was looking for a segment of land that was just the BGA, and that's why I didn't see it. Whoa! <laughs> Tragic. Tragedy! Tragedy happens. Very wide road. We bring all kinds of harvesters down through here with uh, without a header trailer. See the wide spans of square-ish flat fields. Making our way over here to the um, the dairy. Here we have the dump point for the dairy. Of course, if we look at the map, see that the road, if we go to our right, would take us back up around to the main farm, or at least the starting farm area. If we head on down this way, we'll be able to make our way over to the sawmill. So, in here at the sawmill, we've got a cell point for wood, wood chips. And then under the crane, we have the trigger for the log cell. And then right across the street, we've got a, a basic forest. I wouldn't call it super dense, super densely planted. Um, the, biggest, the biggest downside, I would say, to that forest is let's take a ride through it in first person is the fact that it's it's not overly um, decorated or um, foliaged well there's there isn't a lot of foliage going on in here uh, there's no real bushes that we can see you know no grass or anything it's just a a forest forest floor texture it would have been nice to have maybe seen this done up a little bit more as far as detailing goes uh, we got a uh, 
half floating tower. Oh, yippee, two floaty trees. Chalk that up. Wouldn't be a map video without from some floaty objects. This third floaty object, okay. Find floaty objects, check. Okay, we can move on to the next sub topic. Let's head on down to the uh, to the sheep and the biogas plant. Biggest, the biggest thing on the whole map is this big mountain in the middle. We're going to end by hopefully going up to the top of that. Has a pretty good sight line of lots of the map. Here is the BGA. Fairly farm standard farm sim 19 biogas plant. We've got our digester. We've got our digestate pipe. We've got our bunkers. But I want to swing back over here because we've got a gas station. Over here, right there, and then we have in this wooded area, we have the sheep pen in standard farm sim 19 sheep area. Got sheep down here. If you didn't want to do sheep, you could obviously sell that and uh, and just put some <coughs> put some buildings down and make another nice little. Uh, Nice little farm area. We're going to make our way over here to another cell point. Loop around the back of the ca or the tavern. So. And then the next stop is going to be, I believe, the port. That is one big field of potatoes. It's pretty interesting to see this. This map has such a. Well, there must be some level of interest to have it. Uh, ported forward in so many different iterations of farm sim. So right here we've got I believe the spinnery. Yep, we've got our wool and cotton dealer right there. And then we've got the animal dealer over here at this uh, quite unsuspicious building. Let's see what it says on the side of the building. It says Big Words Big Words Tires Warehouse. I think that's what it says, but there you go. You've got your animal animal dealer there. Let's head on head on out. We've got one more port. We've got the port Northwest. Let's take a look at. And at that point, that pretty much is the map. I mean, there's not a lot going on here. Not a lot to see. To be quite honest, it's it's kind of a a sparse and uh, and an empty place with a decent percentage. Sadly, a decent percentage of the map. Taken up by, you know, non-playable area type things. Like, like, a big part of the map is this lake here. The island there. Zoom out. Got this big hunk here, which is the lake. Got this big hunk here in the middle, which is this hill. Then we've got other big mountainy 
down these sections all around. Here's that forest we were in. So, you know, it's almost like a third of the map is non-playable space, which is a little, little disappointing. But it is a true representation of Farming Legends, which is the, uh, well, it's the, uh, the base map from Farm Sim 11. So in order to keep spirit with that, it is what it is. And we all know that it seems like most base giant maps have large areas that are not overly usable. So down here at the shop, we've got our, our sell, customize, and repair trigger here in front. We're going to take this windy road up the... Uh, up the mountains a little bit. Chris, we had a little bit of a different road texture there. That was a little interesting. Got a castle off here to our right. The castle makes its way into lots of different maps. And we've got an observation area up here to the left. Not really sure where or how you're supposed to get to that, but what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, just going to run up there. Just get a good overview of the whole the whole map. Go. We got kind of a tram thing going on down here. See, there is the, uh, the dairy cell point. Got the sawmill. Making our way over to the BGA. There's that big potato field. Some dock. Support Northwest. There is the main farm there. It's kind of out. Look, look out over everything. So, so guys, that is farming legend. Let me know in the comments. Uh, did you uh, have you played previous iterations of this? Uh, do you go all the way back to Farm Sim 11 or further? I think Farm Sim 9 was maybe the first iteration. You go all the way back that far with your Farm Sim playing career. Uh, if not, what do you think of the map? Is this a map you would, uh, would mind downloading and giving a shot at? So until next time, happy farming.